Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and start editing our file, our files on the system and start instructing the system to enable certain flags and to make certain things functional. Now, just in case, uh, in the previous tutorial, I forgot that basically if you uh, don't get the output from these flags, if you don't get the SVM or VMX, and you see on the site that your CPU does support such options, go into the BIOS and enable virtualization. I would gladly uh, record me doing things in BIOS, but really BIOS is different from one piece, from one motherboard to the next. So the interface will be completely different for you anyway, unless you have the same motherboard as me, or at least from the same manufacturer. But the good news is that BIOS doesn't have a lot of options anyway, and all you need to do is find VTD or uh, AMD VI or something to do with virtualization and just enable it. You can literally go through all the possible options in BIOS until you find it. It's going to take you like 10 minutes max. Okay, next up, we're going to edit the grub file. I will use VIM to edit it. If you don't have VIM installed, type in DNF install VIM for Fedora 23 or for Debian based distros type in app-get install VIM and it will be installed. It's in the default repositories. Next type you type in, well actually no, you type in CP. We will first make a backup. Type in slash etsy slash sysconfig slash grub and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this to my desktop. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and copy that configuration so you have it there just in case you mess something up. Type in, I'm serious, I mean you can mess things up and you will want to have a recovery file so you wouldn't spend days on end trying to figure out what you did wrong, rather instead you can just uh, copy the configuration back. Next up, uh, what you will need to do is type in vim slash etsy sysconfig slash grub. If you're wondering how I'm typing in so fast, I'm just pressing tab for the autocomplete uh, option. Press enter, press I to enter the insert mode, press escape to exit the insert mode, press I to enter the insert mode again. And now uh, you're gonna see a lot of things here. Some of them will not be the same, but it doesn't really matter. All that you need to add is this part here. So Intel underline IO MMU equals on for AMD processor, for Intel processors or for AMD, just replace Intel with AMD. That's quite literally it, see? Uh, like this AMD for underline IO MMU equals on or Intel IO MMU equals on. Then you will type in, then you will press escape, you press escape and then colon, then you will type in WQ and press enter, meaning write and then quit. Then you will type in uh, grub 2 mk config dash o. I'm doing this for the UEFI BIOS. If you're not using the UEFI BIOS, what I'm about to type in, the following path will be slightly different for you. I don't know exactly diff to which extent will it be different because I'm not using a non-UEFI BIOS, but uh, you, can find, you can find it on the net where the Grub CFG is located if it's a non-UEFI BIOS. Press enter, this will uh, perform certain things. <laughs> Just kidding, it will actually update the CFG file. And that's it, you need to clear the screen, control L, and now you need to reboot the machine. So you need, if you need to type in reboot and that will reboot your machine as root. When you come back, we're gonna, we need to confirm, when your machine reboots completely, you need to perform a confirmation. So this is just uh, DM, DMESG, grep i i o m m u uh, t -t 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 okay i uh, forget about this down below this is for amd scroll upwards and you will see i am i o m m u enabled okay and then command line boot image take a look at this line just keep on following it 
following it down the line and you will see Intel underline IO MMU equals on. So these are the two things which you need to confirm here. If you don't get them, there's a problem. Not sure exactly what the problem would be. I mean, there is no reason why there should be a problem. Hey, you're not going to get a problem here. Anyway, uh, we're, I'm going to cut the tutorial again here and we shall see each other in the follow-up. If you're wondering why I'm cutting them like this, I got some complaints that people didn't want like long explanations of everything in one tutorial. Rather, instead, they wanted a playlist where they can like view separate things at their own pace and... Uh, just view the things that they want to view. Okay, so bid your farewell.